Well, today is October 1st, therefore, happy Halloween, Merry Christmas. I hope you're all excited for the holidays. <laughs> You know, it's funny, I started decorating my place for fall like three, four weeks ago, which is kind of like mental and insane, but like this is my favorite time of the year, the fall, the Christmas time, and like it just gets me really excited to be like home and cozy, so I started decorating early and I have no shame in my game, but I'm excited for October. Um, as you guys know, I don't really film Halloween makeup videos. I do really enjoy doing holiday themed videos, and then this year I am also doing Vlogmas because I love Vlogmas. And I'm thinking about doing 21 days of giveaway on the vlogging channel, but I'm not sure what I want to give away I know I want it to be big every single day So if you guys don't follow me on the vlogging channel go subscribe right now We're trying to reach a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year And I know we can do it because we are a really strong family So go subscribe I will link everything in the description box below But anyways in today's video, I will be talking about my September favorites. I have makeup. I have sweaters. I have eyeshadow palettes that's considered makeup and um that's pretty much it so if you guys want to see all the items that i have been loving for the month of september then just keep watching wait how do you guys feel about this makeup i'm like loving it it's like so fall and like holiday ish I'm like feeling super festive today for some reason. But anyways, the first thing that I wanted to mention today is a sweater, but just wanted to like let go of me. Um, I got this at Nordstrom about two, three weeks ago and I mentioned it in my last fashion video. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it in the description box below. I mentioned a ton of new fall clothing that I will be wearing in the next few weeks. So you will be seeing on my Instagram account. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, all my social networks are always linked in the description box below so go check it out but this is one of my favorite sweaters I've been literally wearing it every single day because it's so cozy it's not very thick it's not heavy but it still covers you and it's nice for like the beginning of the fall time I went more into details um, with the sweater in my last video the color is also perfection I feel like it goes with all of my outfits and it's just one of my favorites I think it's still sold out so I will link one that's really similar that I just bought from Express and I believe it's on sale so it will be linked in the description box below I just said description box below so much anyways let's jump into the makeup products because I have some exciting things to talk about this month I actually have three different foundations that I wanted to mention to you guys because they're very different in their own way but they still have all a matte finish but it's different types of matte finish so I'm gonna start off with my number one favorite which is my Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation I have been using this for a while now it's such a great foundation the coverage is <laughs> anyways this foundation has medium to full coverage i love that you can build it up to however much coverage you need and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin honestly with one pump i can cover my entire face and still have it look flawless and have that full coverage and have the foundation look beautiful like this foundation has not disappointed me at all whatsoever it photographs amazingly it does have a pump which is super important to me whenever i buy a foundation this was actually sent to me by laura mercier so i've been testing it out for i want to say for the past two three months and i'm obsessed with it it's such a great foundation i'm not wearing it today today i'm actually wearing my fenty beauty foundation but it's not my favorite foundation in my fenty beauty video a lot of people were asking me do I like the Fenty Beauty foundation more than my Too Faced peaches and cream foundation and the answer is no I actually love my Too Faced peaches and cream foundation so much more than the Fenty Beauty for so many reasons this foundation does last a lot longer on my face and it blends so easy on the skin this one the Fenty Beauty I feel like for some reason kind of dries out my skin which is kind of like weird um, but overall I did want to mention this in my favorites I said I had three foundations I'm like halfway done with it because this is one of my go-to foundations this one this one and the NARS velvet stick foundation for the past few months I've been rotating with these three foundations it all depends on what makeup I'm doing that day if I'm doing something really dramatic I'll go for my Laura Mercier 
or my Too Faced or if I want something really subtle, like no eye makeup, no dramatic lipstick, no brows, just like brushing them out, I'll go for my NARS Velvet Stick Foundation. I'm actually almost out of this foundation because I use it almost every single day. This is such a great daytime foundation. What I do notice is that I do have to set it. If I don't set this foundation, then it won't last on my skin. I love stick foundations, so whenever I find one that works for me, I will continue to use it just because it's easy to use and um, it's just travel friendly as well. Since we're talking about foundation, I did want to mention this powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder by Maybelline. I've been using this for a while now and I really like it. I only use it for my under eye. It doesn't give me any flashback. I don't use it on my entire face because the other day I used it on my entire face. I used the shade Medium and oh my god, you guys. And let me tell you, my face ended up looking red. Like I stepped out of my beauty room and Jose was like, um, what? is wrong with you are you okay and I was like what, what was wrong and then I looked in the mirror and like my face just looked very ashy and like red for some reason so I am using the shade of fair light and I feel like it doesn't oxidize it just sets the under eye really nicely it also brightens it so this one I've been really liking but like I said only to set my under eye if they do come out with more shades I will definitely try it for my entire face I also wanted to mention this new brush by real techniques I've been using it in my recent tutorials and it is amazing you guys this is the insta pop cheek brush it does come in the cheek version which is amazing and then it also comes in the face version this one i like to use for my foundation this one i use for a lot of different things i have a few of the same brushes sitting around my desk because i love to use this for so many different things i love to use it for blending out my concealer applying my foundations i just feel like it blends it out so nicely and then i also like to use it to bake my face the shape is perfect as you can tell it's like slanted so it fits under your eyes so you can apply the powder leave it there for a few seconds and then dust it off it's also really great to carve out uh, under your cheekbones when you're baking so overall this is just a really easy brush to use and it's super affordable so I wanted to mention it in this video you guys know that I am the real techniques ambassador but I will never mention anything that I don't personally love here on my channel so I just wanted to throw that out there because I want you guys to know that I'm not just like mentioning these products I believe in them and I love them and I love real techniques so um, yeah just want to you know to throw that quick disclaimer in there moving on to a must oh my god this makes me so happy finding a mascara that works great for your bottom lashes is so difficult because I feel like most of the brush heads are either too big or they kind of like mess up your concealer you guys know that I love the Clinique bottom lash mascara and I was on the hunt for a dupe and I finally found one and this is so amazing the brush head is so tiny but it's long enough where you can use on your upper and lower lashes and it grabs each individual strand and brushes it out and makes it nice and long and feathery and I just love it. It's such a great product. If you haven't tried it, go to your drugstore and pick it up because honestly it is 100% worth it. Moving on to a highlighter. This is a super shock cheek highlighter in the shade might be if you follow me on snapchat or insta stories you have probably seen this like every other day because this is what i use on an everyday basis it looks so natural on the skin it kind of just sinks into your skin so it just blends in with the rest of your makeup and it just looks so beautiful it is super intense when you swatch it but if you go in with a light hand you can use it with like no makeup you can use it with makeup um, it's just a beautiful highlighter it has sort of like a rose gold but on camera it just like beams like it's so beautiful I love this this is definitely a staple in my everyday makeup routine okay I also wanted to mention this spray because I realized in my last video that I was using it I was like I haven't shown it to you guys and I have like eight of them like I'm not even kidding they're like everywhere in my place this is a makeup forever mist and fix makeup setting spray it sets your face really nice and it kind of just brings everything in together this is such an amazing product if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it 
It's definitely one of my top three and favorite setting sprays. The last beauty product that I wanted to mention in my favorites, it's this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is my third one, you guys. Can you believe this is my third one? I also have a mini one somewhere because I take it with me when I'm traveling. I love having everything in the mini version too because one, it's easy to take with you when you travel and two, it's just kind of cute so you gotta have it. But this is such a great dry shampoo. It does have like a white residue when you put it on your hair but once you like brush it out it kind of just fades away so you can't even see it so you don't have to worry about that but I like that it absorbs all of the oil and it kind of makes my hair look brand new for some reason and it's just a really great product I also really like how it smells and um, it's just very easy to use as well so I love to use this on my third fourth sometimes on my fifth day when I don't feel like doing my hair and I don't have time to wash my hair this is just a really great product to have. So I also have this in my two bathrooms and it is one of my go-tos for sure. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention in today's video is the MAC and Nicki Minaj collaboration. I am not a fan of these shades. I feel like they kind of wash me out and they kind of make my teeth look yellow for some reason. You guys know that I love the formulas on the MAC lipsticks and I really like these too. They do have like a nice creamy finish. Um, it's just the colors like the colors just don't do it for me. So I'm not crazy about it um, Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, but for me it's a no Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video Let me know what was your favorite beauty product or just favorite product of the month in the comments below Don't forget to let me know what other videos you want to see for the holidays I'm so excited and with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one very soon Bye